I've got a job in my view. Do, do, do. <laughs> and no, I'm not done with my makeup. I don't know what I've been doing. Like, I've just been putting one color on. It's this. I'll show you. It's this. Like, it's really cool. That one was broke. That's why it was a dollar off. <laughs> my friend bought it for me. I don't usually buy that. Um, because that's expensive for Walmart. It's clearance for 14 bucks. Um, I, I don't, I have specific eyeshadows brands I wear, but anyway, um, it's that one, and I forgot to put that one on first, so, oops. Okay, so, this was the finished result. I ended up having to fix it, <laughs> and there's nothing under, I usually put eyeshadow underneath my eyes, too, but. You know, is what it is. So now that the uh, canvas is done being painted, I haven't even been doing contouring lately and stuff. Like, I don't know. I'm using my other hand to uh, open, because that's two lids. Yes, I keep the two lids on. knows I needed okay and before people start saying oh my god whatever she's pretty she just wants attention uh if you know me I do not think I'm pretty and this stuff this stuff this stuff is really getting to me and now I've got other stuff too from the hormonal issue like my thyroid so now I've got that pregnant after pregnancy you know, the kangaroo pouch that came back. Like, I didn't know that was possible. I worked really hard at getting that gone and it's back. It wasn't invited. So I have learned to be very careful about putting whatever you want to call it. This is called Lang Lang. Okay. From now on, we're calling it Lang Lang. So you got to do it very lightly. Apparently white sage as well. So now that I am, I can actually use it. I had to do something about my eyebrows. And oh my God, you guys, my fingernails. What's up with these two? Let's see. And this one. I don't know. And that one broke. I am thinking about getting the few things that I need because I think you guys know, but all my nail spa stuff, because I wanted to start doing nails and like charging for you know and doing my own but charging very cheap for people okay so like i like to do things for people but i can't always do it for you <laughs> so anyway like it's in my ex's car it's been there for a while since october 2019 oh no going on two years uh it's probably destroyed now but anyway i just need like basically tips a bigger know it because I do have one but it's not very big so I do one two fingers at a time you know and then uh, the acrylic liquid um, I have the powder I mean I've got almost everything I need oh the brushes I think too oh my nail drill but I got the polishes and stuff oh and I don't have the you know how you paint the little fake nails and you got the nail wheels because I have so many freaking professional gel polishes and you can't see what's in it really <laughs> it has am I have a code that's it so anyway I had all those already done yeah all right so I'm gonna start trying to get more witchy stuff in here you know the cats don't count as witchy but um I've been really trying to focus on my life right now and not the witchy stuff uh, but the witchy stuff is part of my life, so I'm like, ah, ah. I know you guys see that um, I went from one trailer to another, but don't let trailers fool you. When you want to live in a nice neighborhood, they cost as much as a house <laughs> or a really fancy apartment. So I mean, don't let that fool you. So people don't want to live beyond their means, I guess you would say. If you're paying like a thousand dollars a month for a trailer, um, 
and a house started, I don't know why, but the houses went up to like 1500 or 2000 a month to rent. It's like, what? It's crazy. But anyway, you know, um, it's pretty out here and I miss home. But this is my home now and I know you guys don't know what happened, but it's, I really don't want to talk about it. I just, um, sometimes people need to be separate and work on stuff. Of course, it's still in my life. Um, I still see him. We're just, um, definitely not living together. I stayed one night there. There's definitely something evil in there. And anyway, um, I just wanted to say that. <laughs> We've been sitting here for 15 minutes because my husband didn't see a big ass. <laughs> I told him we're getting ice cream cones. <laughs> it's my fault though. said I look pretty. <laughs> well, this is adorable. I got some good pictures. I got the one where he's putting his hand up. I think, oh, I think where they've uh, seen each other every day, they're just they're like, oh, cool. That's you. Hmm, so is that what you look like? <laughs> yeah, like, hey, friend. He's very scared of him. He's not. I thought the cat was supposed to be let out of the bag, not the box. <laughs> I made a punny. I've been working the last few weeks, so I haven't been able to record. I was working a lot. <laughs> so now I'm able to record and finally get to make candles and jewelry and stuff. So I'm really excited. So you guys get to do that with me. I finally got to do my uh, new moon spell. And I'm going to be doing my goddesses video as well and I'm gonna get back to recording I'm excited to do this I <clears throat> just started getting sick again I was recently sick and I'm getting sick again this time I have a cough and phlegm I was coughing and sneezing at the same time with phlegm it was horrible I thought I was gonna die <laughs> and I don't know if you guys have noticed but I have lost weight even though I haven't been able to go to the gym that often but I have lost weight because I'm working so much and I am still taking my thyroid medicine. So the candle is gonna be layered. It's gonna be a money candle. So the bottom layer is going to be green with patchouli and Roman chamomile. And I'm gonna to try to put some like chamomile flowers on the top. And then the top layer is gonna be white with cinnamon and clove and then the crystals and of course cinnamon oil so let's see how this goes um i do think that these oils go together so i'm just praying that this works out <laughs> so here we go left up here, right here, then, or something. I am so happy we made it, and like I said, there's real bathrooms, um, there's a store here, and there's real, there's cabins. Chris said he'd never been up here, so, I am so happy. Yeah, you're gonna have to turn left here, there ain't nowhere else to drive to. Look at that, they have 
uh, national parks and Scrabble and a camping game. I'm sorry guys, I was excited that we got here and I wasn't even recording. Yeah, yeah, it's like a community. I'm hoping it's not going to stop recording on me again. Isn't this cool? No, I don't have an app to communicate with the dead. Um, that's something I'd rather do when it's not so busy. Because they're not going to communicate with me. Like if it's busy anyway. Huh. Oh, I feel a heavy feeling in here. Well, I guess I should have had a drink in that here. Okay, where can my husband go? Oh, we will lose him. Fireplace. Okay, so this is Aunt Becky. That's crazy, isn't it? 600 acres. She kept busy spinning, weaving, knitting, farming, tending store, taking in family borders, and caring for her brother's children after he came ill. Oh, that's pretty awesome. For one, if it's newer. I mean, that, I have a lot of respect for her. Now, those, there's, there are windows in these cabins now, and obviously they weren't here before. I don't know if you can see this. It said she bought it. So somebody built it for her? Like, was it already used? Oh, okay. There's the answer. Oh, okay. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Sure, this couple. We're gonna go through the rest of it. So, as you can see, some of the stuff was additions. Yeah. I, guess, I mean, that's neat that she done all this, you know. Let's see, we're not gonna go out that way. Also, the upstairs. How do you get to the upstairs? I don't think you can get to the upstairs here anymore, can you? No, I think they boarded up the upstairs. Yeah, some of this was added later. Careful. Sorry, I'm recording. <laughs> so, you can't get upstairs. That's a bummer. <laughs> they boarded it, so you can't get up there. Okay, so there's the upstairs. You can't get up there. Um, years ago, they it was like open, but they had like a kind of like a board there, so you can't get up there. But now they've got it boarded up because it's dangerous. Look at my husband went out there. He just takes off with me. Take him out one by one. Okay, so I'm gonna back it up here. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys see. I don't know if Omar has this on his channel or not. I know he comes out here. I don't know if he's been out here, out here. Cause the house he showed, I haven't, I don't think I see it. I'm trying to think what her name was. I know, Ma oh, Mavis. He was calling, him, calling her Mavis, yeah. So, uh, that's how I remembered it because he said Ingrid Glue. Otherwise, I wouldn't remember. Somebody pointed it out. That's cool that they left that there, 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 you know? 
I would like to have some food for something. <laughs> Just cool. I lost my husband. I'm gonna look at the mill next. It's just so peaceful out here. Oh, there's my husband. He's out there where pieces. Oh, it's so beautiful out here, isn't it? So beautiful, you guys. I could just live out here. But I don't know how to plug up my logo. <laughs> My little friend right there. That's where they drink from right there. Or ate. I'm not sure. Probably ate. You ain't going. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, here you're fine. And here's the other side. I, um, I don't know if water was saying that. I would say it'd be for food. And see how they, their barns weren't very uh, stable. <laughs> Stable's not stable. Um, see the big hole? There, these bees are attracted to it. The wood, but um, poof, whoa, <laughs> people have fruit and all of it. Um, but I think it's what we call dirt over, so it's not anything to be afraid of. It won't sting you. I don't know if I've ever heard someone in the store. Isn't it peaceful out here, babe? You walk down there, that's beautiful. This kind of reminds me, hey, you know that park in Knoxville that uh, we went to and it was like those trees that were grown to the ground and it was like a maze kind of? That's kind of what it reminds me of. I could just, oh, I could live out here. I said, if, if I can find a way to blow dry my hair. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful, you guys? This is beautiful. I know you guys are probably like, so tired of this, but because COVID's over with. Hey, you know, um, Danielle finally got to get out of the house. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's not going to answer me. I'm like, are you okay? She's like, oh, yeah, the kids get to get out of the house. I wanted them to see people before they forget who they are. <laughs> she said it had been a year before they got out, since they'd been out. See, we didn't get locked down like that. We didn't actually get locked down. They shot it for a few days, but. And then it was like, well, you, well, then not actual lockdown, but saying that we could only leave for like a certain. I hope I don't fault you guys. <laughs> Laugh at me. Well, you know what? I still post it. Yeah, I don't think I want to try that. All the shoes I have on. Babe, I don't think I'm going to try to go over. These shoes are too slippery. I wanted to. Oh, we do have towels in the truck. To get over, well, I might do it anyway. See, he's got tennis shoes on. And look at my shoes. Well, I don't know if I want to show you because I didn't. Uh, my feet get really, really dry, and I worked on them before. But yeah, I'm probably gonna cut my feet out. I think you could throw coins in there and make wishes. Hold on, I'll show you where. This reminds me of Dollywood. If you go up here, um, you can throw coins in if it's still like it was. And make a wish. You know, they might have got rid of that thing. It was like a trout thing. You know what those are, don't you? That was broke. That's what our freaking yards gonna look like if they continue doing that. Here it is. So you put change in here and make a wish. 
Do you have any? I don't have nothing. I have some in my purse. One for a wish. <gasps> Look, there's minnows in here. You see the minnows? Oh, look at them. How'd they get in here? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. You can see the water back there. Guys, this is just breathtaking. Breathtakingly beautiful. Photos. Oh, yeah, there's a barn up here, too, Chris. I forgot about that one. We have to go check it out. Okay, ready? Turtle, babe, those are going down, or this building right here. Maybe it was closed off then. It might have been closed off. Or it's too busy over here to come over here. Well, oh, check this out. Oh, cool. You see it really good through this camera. I think this is the best part of the trip, honestly. Because it's like a, an experience. You get to get out and everything's close together. Look, they still have the same wood sitting here, Chris. That they chopped up years ago. Hundreds of years ago and the wood's still here. Well, almost hundreds of years ago. Probably about a hundred and... I know over 100 years. Or about that. About 180, maybe. Wow. Like their projects are still here, you guys. That's what it looks like. That's crazy. They've been these logs, man. Look, they even made their, uh, what are those things called? Not hurdles. Um, not horseback. What are those things called, baby? They're called horses, aren't they? Saw no. Horses. Saw horses, yeah. Like they just left stuff where it was. Oh, check out up there. What is this for? For horses that you have? Well, they got their, their old projects they were starting. They left them in here. Yeah, well, I think I see that from the other what? side. But... Oh, did you? Oh, look at no, no. I did it. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And the wood that they chopped up, I, I'd say the last wood chopped up here was probably like 1940, and it's still sitting, still sitting there. I like that they left it alone. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm glad. I can't believe my husband's never been here. It breaks my heart that thinks he's never done. Like, I guess I had a better childhood than I thought. But anyway, um, I mean, I, that I don't understand. It, it breaks my heart. And some others watching, I'm sorry, but it breaks my heart. And I, I've tried since we've been together to let him experience all those things he didn't get to experience. Even foods, not just places. It was important to me that he experiences these things. I mean, I, I know my husband and you're somewhere and probably cannot talk to each other because of service. Even though we're not supposed to have that service. Yeah, I just almost busted my butt. That little hurt. I hit my face. That way. I am moving in this way. Oh, guess what? Great minds think alike. My husband on this way too. Yep, my husband's on here too. This is what, that's where we came from over there. There's another little building. So that house was a store at some point. 
So this store over here, I don't know what it was. That. I'm just going to show you everything. But this is where I live, you know. This is my home, and somehow I always end up back here. Well, <laughs> I can't say always. The one time I left. It's just home. I'm a cherry game great too, but like, um, very many Huh? There's a little bit of waterfall up here. Okay. I'll well, check it out. Well, that freaking car alarm kind of ruins the nature of the car. There was a dog wood way back there. Uh -huh. On the other side of that house, when you walked down to the creek, but it was in the middle of the, of the river, the creek. Uh -huh. You couldn't get to it. Look at the back of this. Is that the store? Yeah. Look at the back of it, Chris. Does it look like it was a home? It does, don't it? Yeah. It looks like the back of it used to be a home or something. There's something about it. I just feel something. I wonder what that was then. There's a satellite dish there now, so people must live there. I wonder if the people that work there live there. It's a freaking satellite dish. You know, Chris, I think this side used to be closed off because I've never been out this way. That barn over there, I've never been to that barn and I've never been over here. No. Not that I recall. So it must have been closed off. And I closed off certain parts out here sometimes. Like, I don't know if it's weather or what. Shit. Shoot. There we go. Let's see if I can move that. I don't know how to do that yet. I'll figure it out. Check this out. Check it out. I don't want to get hurt. It is very shallow. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see it in the video. Yeah, I'm not having any problems now. So I'm, and maybe it was shutting off because it wasn't very charged. The, the recording part, it kept shutting off for me in the truck. And my feet are wet. Huh? Yeah, see, the one in our, uh, our forest beside the house, it's, it reminds me kind of like this. I don't know, it seems witchy. Check this tree out. I'll show you that tree at our house. I don't know if you've seen it or not that day we walked out there. Are you in a hurry then? Aren't these olive trees? I don't know. I've seen that. I was about to get some of it. I think it's an olive tree, Chris. Uh, they were they have municipal municipal properties. It's really really important. Uh, you know, witchcraft. Here, I'm gonna turn the camera away and walk away. There's just, I mean, it was like that, that was that lady's, oh, I forgot her name now, sorry. No disrespect, lady, but it's like she had all this to herself. Oh, there's a, look, there's something out here, too. Yeah, I got some of it. You see that? What is that? But, like, her, okay, so her, um, her and her husband, husband, oh, her and her brother bought the house. It wasn't very old. And then they built onto it, and she helped raise his kids so she was oh yeah she was aunt becky so she um she never had children or got married i think she uh, she just enjoyed being alone and well not alone but because she she had family like she didn't she just enjoyed being out here alone is what i meant and um no, this smoking. is their community like they had over 600 acres y'all it looks like an old smoker so that's how they made their money. It was like quilting and spinning and I mean, just all kinds of stuff they own. They have their own farm out here. 
It's pretty amazing. And a smoker. Oh, it's good on this side. Yeah, come on, that's good. Okay. When I woke up today, my husband, he, he tries to give me a few minutes to wake up, but I was waiting for it. So what do you want to do today? <laughs> that is, oh, it's not what I thought it was. Oh, that, I don't know. They're fuzzy looking, aren't they? Oh, there. My husband's on a medicinal, uh, ex uh, ooh, scavenger hunt, I guess. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you know, the Cherokees knew what they were doing up here. Are you all seeing this? They have hammocks on the back of their Jeep. How flipping cool is that? <laughs> like redneck, but cool. <laughs> hey guys. It's getting chilly out, so I had to go back in to get my jacket. <laughs> okay, so. All right, I will have to warn you that you may hear people, fireworks, it is Memorial Day, so, and it is evening. All right, so let's get this started. This story is interesting because my last story I was worried I wouldn't find photos to show you, but the house was for sale. Coincidence? I think not. So, this door, I'm like, oh yeah, definitely gonna be hard. I don't have photos of the home anymore. It's like, breaks my heart. But anyway, I may somewhere have photos, but anyway. So I'm, I'm looking right for the house on Forest Avenue that has scared many, many, many people. <laughs> this house has been sold so many times, okay? 19 times. <laughs> That's what it says, 19 times. All right, so I'm looking and I come across the house. It said it was sold in 2017 for 60 I think it said 60 768,000 I'm like what they really wanted it sold and I think it's for sale now for 177,000 but they're not even talking about the downstairs like not even included I'm like you know it's there right like that's where it all goes on because it's the land <laughs> okay so we're going to talk about the house now I was able to come across five photos. That was it. And of course, none of the bedrooms, none of the downstairs, you can see in one of the windows, though. I asked my husband if he was seeing what I was seeing, and yes, it was like a bunch of spirits all piled up at the window. <laughs> and these, like, one of them that I'm about to tell you about, well, it's one of them. But the other ones, I do not recognize them. I do not. I'm talking about it and my wireless remote is freaking flickering in my hand so here we go my son was two when we got this house it's just me and him it's a two-story house and I was excited you know and um, I'm not gonna tell you all the stories of course but <clears throat> we learned that first night that it, that it was haunted so I, I want to start with that one so I can go ahead and get into another one. So we didn't hardly have anything for the home yet. It was a surprise. The money I've been saving up for a while. I was actually paying for a trip for my sister. Um, it was her high school graduation. You know, we were going, me, her, and my son, we were going on a trip. And I came across this house. My dad's like, you know what you gotta do? You gotta get the house instead. So got the house dead. So I'm cleaning the bathroom that night. My son's asleep on the, the sofa. Next thing we know, he's, this isn't funny, but he ends up on the other side of the room. And I'm like, I didn't do it. I, I was right where I could see him the best I could, you know? 
uh, and that didn't matter. Something threw him across the room. So that's when we knew, uh-oh, this ain't good. So let's fast forward. He was, we moved there in May and I, um, of 2008. And then, so he was two. And then this happened either fall or the next spring. So I can't remember exactly. But anyway, I'm, I'm in the living room and we have this big box, big screen TVs. <laughs> uh, my parents gave it to me. So I had something for the home and I see a man walk behind me, but I didn't see his head. He was tall. And I'm like, I look behind me. I see there's a reflection in the TV. I'm like, what? And he walks back towards this. There's a door in the dining room that only can be locked or unlocked from the, the upstairs. So I will t later tell you another story that has to do with that door. Okay. And anyway, um, I'm like, what's going on? I mean, I'm watching paranormal TV shows and that probably did not help. I will tell you that. So, um, I noticed that the activity in my son's room, like him watching Disney and playing with his toys, stopped. It got quiet. And then the door creaked open and I felt nothing but dread i mean this house has a skeleton key that i found downstairs i wasn't given it i found it i have no clue where that key is now but anyway uh, and then i waited for the door to open because something just i don't know and then i i don't know if i block this part out but all I remember is my son coming up to me with his eyes black and a balloon with the string still attached wrapped around his neck and yeah I didn't walk up because I was sitting on the sofa so yeah he came to me and he says in a different voice I'm going to kill him and you're going to go to prison for it and the whole time you're in there you're going to miss your son and you're going to be accused of murdering him but you know what really happened and I mean I didn't want to take the time to go get scissors because I didn't know what was going to happen to him there you know and um, I didn't want to fight with this demon that was in my son to take him to the kitchen to get the scissors or wherever my scissors were then. I don't, I don't remember. But I just remember thinking, I have to pull this off. I, ooh, I feel something. I don't like that. Did y'all see something? It's not as dark as it looks in the camera. It's not, like it's not even completely dark yet. But it looks like it on the camera, so it's perfect time for me to tell the story. <laughs> I don't want to be out here telling the story when it's completely dark. You're crazy. So, anyway, he, um, I just kept pulling on it, and as soon as I get this thing undone, my son comes to, and he's like, Mommy, Mommy, what are you doing to me? And I'm like, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I'm like, you know the bad boy? That was, it was, it had to be him. Oh, it was so traumatic and I didn't know how he was going to get out of this house. It was only getting worse. Well, I hope you enjoy the story. It is real. That one was quite terrifying. Um, it happens to people every day. Um, so if someone tells you a spirit cannot harm you, that is not true. That is not true. I don't know if they got started so people weren't scared, but that is not true at all. Um, as you know, I was telling you in my second story that Mo was trying to suffocate me, you know? And I know that had to be very traumatic 
for my younger cousin because she hadn't went through all the stuff that I had. So, hope you enjoyed it. There's more to come. I'm excited to, I, I mean, I know I'm going to run out of houses. <laughs> I didn't live in that many and I know I'm going to run out of houses that I can get photos of. So, <laughs> and I'm not going to just take one that I didn't live in. I could never do that. I'll just explain to you the best I, I can or I can just have like a, a photo of the outside of it but these homes are for sale so it's not like someone's living in it and they would be um in danger you know like people bothering them so I mean I can even uh, mark out the address I don't even know what the address shows on this stuff but until next time stay witchy <laughs>